What's going on, everybody? Just want to spend a few minutes talking about this mastery core deal that's on screen right here. So if you're wondering whether or not this deal is worth it, of course it's worth it. Masteries are the number one thing that you should be spending your units on until you have all of the essential masteries unlocked. If you're dumping your units into things like feature crystals, feature grandmaster crystals, whatever, you're really throwing away those units. I mean, you have such a low chance to get what you want out of those things compared to guaranteed value with unlocking masteries. And I don't really remember seeing these cores at a discounted unit rate like this. Uh, I mean, chances are it happened in the past and I just don't remember it, but it's very rare. Uh, we've occasionally seen deals where Kabam will throw together a little package of these things for money. Uh, and it's, you know, a pretty good deal in terms of, you know, if you're looking to spend money in this game, it'll be like 30 bucks. I'm going to give you a few of these cores, something like that. But when it comes to units, yeah, like I said, I really can't even remember um, seeing such a discount like this. So, yeah, absolutely worth it. And I want to go over some of the masteries that I think are worth uh, unlocking if you have the units and, um, you know, the need for these masteries. All right, so... Uh, I'm mostly going to talk about the masteries that require car carbonadium cores because uh, some of these masteries also require uh, the stonies, but not all of them. Uh, but let's let's talk about those ones. So uh, if you're using champions that cause bleed, like Blade, for example, then Deep Wounds is the number one mastery to pick up. This is practically essential for champions like that. It's a night and day difference between having uh, Deep Wounds or, or not having Deep Wounds. Um, so yeah, try to get that maxed out if possible. Uh, Assassin. Assassin is kind of a nice to have type of mastery, but I really don't value it all that highly. Uh, I like to just have one point in it. Uh, anything else, you know, it's like I said, it's, it's really just a bonus. Uh, it's, you know, it's nice if you can add that extra damage, but, you know, a lot of times I, I don't think it means the difference between you winning and losing a fight having this thing maxed out or having it at one point. Uh, and I'd rather just keep it at the one point. Uh, unphased, uh, this mastery is uh, really underrated in my opinion. I think having it at one point is amazing. I, I, it saved me so many times in Alliance War, saved me um, you know, in, in Alliance Quest, in regular questing, wherever. Uh, sometimes it has uh, meant the difference between me losing or winning the fight in Alliance War, right? Which could mean you know, the entire alliance winning or losing that war. But even if it doesn't necessarily mean winning or losing, it just saves you units. Uh, so picking up one point in this mastery is amazing. Despair. Uh, I have Despair maxed out nearly at all times. I mean, this, this mastery build that you see right here, this is just a temporary build. Don't, like, follow this build or anything. It's just because masteries are free right now, so it's kind of a jumbled around build a little bit. But Despair, I do typically have Despair maxed out. And, uh, you know, a lot of it is because I'm running Void, and he does apply a lot of debuffs. And I am looking to, uh, you know, cut that healing when, I, when I'm using Void. But even before I started using Void, when I was using champions like Medusa, that apply some, you know, some armor breaks... Uh, it's really noticeable to have this mastery maxed out. Um, you know, you get a few debuffs going, and suddenly that healing that uh, Iron Man or, or whoever would get throughout a fight, Wolverine, you know, it's cut in half. Uh, uh, or it could even be cut even more than that if you have uh, enough debuffs going. So yeah, for only three points, I think it's amazing to have this mastery maxed out. Uh, it's definitely worth at least having it unlocked, even if you don't want to run it maxed out at all times. Uh, Alright, Suicide Masteries. These are the best masteries that you could possibly get if you are an arena grinder. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to max these things out first if you are an arena grinder, including what kind of pairs off with them, which is willpower. Um, you know, between willpower and all the suicide masteries, it's a lot of carbonadium cores. This deal uh, is not going to be enough to fully unlock it, but you could at least uh, make some good progress towards it. Uh, and it's not just for arena grinders anymore these days, you know, I'm so used to saying suicides are, are really for arena grinding, but there's so many champions that benefit a lot from suicides these days. A lot of really popular options like Corvus, Ghost, Omega Red, Emma Frost, uh, whatever other immunity champions are out there, there's, there's a lot of champions that benefit from suicides these days. Um, so yeah, definitely consider picking those up. Alright, let's move over to defense here for a minute. 
Uh, it's now is a great time to pick up inequity and resonate if you are running champions that benefit highly from resonate, like Void, Luke Cage, Wasp, uh, there's a few others. Um, these masteries are extremely expensive to unlock. I think it's two carbonating cores per level. You really only need one point in resonate to see the benefits from it. Um, but you know, even unlocking that one point is is very expensive, and now is really the ideal time to get it. Um, so yeah, if you have the units and you are using champions that benefit from applying another debuff to the opponent, um, yeah, now now is the time. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, coagulate and uh, suture. Um, you know, both of these uh, reduce uh, the effects of, of, of bleed on yourself. Yes, Suture does apply to, uh, to double edge if you are a suicide runner, um, but Coagulate is much better than Suture. Coagulate reduces the damage, uh, and I mean, if you're only looking strictly at damage, then, you know, Coagulate and, and at least the first point in Suture you'd think they're the same, right? Reducing it by, by 10%. The, the next two points in Suture are only five points, but the first point is 10%, and you know each point in Kragli is also 10%. But the way the math works out is, uh, you know, because you're reducing the, the duration of the bleed, you're also reducing the, the he overall healing that you're gonna get through willpower. So, you know, you wanna have Coagulate fully unlocked before you even look to get the first point unlocked in Suture, in my opinion. And in most cases, uh, I've, it's so rare that I've ever had any points in Suture. Uh, it's just hard to justify having that many points just to reduce bleed damage, even if you are running suicides. Uh, but Coagulate, it's not that hard to justify this mastery, not at all. Um, you know, if you're if you're taking uh, like bleed nodes in Alliance War and you're using a champion that's not bleed immune, this is a lifesaver. Yeah, if you're going up against a Morning Star, it's an absolute lifesaver. This the mastery is great. All right, um, Coagulate. I I don't run points in it uh, too frequently anymore. But every, when it, when I was running suicides, I had a lot of points in Coagulate. Uh, it's, it's great. Um, and of course, willpower. I kind of skipped over willpower, but yes, willpower is amazing. I typically run th all three points in willpower. Again, this is just a, a temporary build that I have on screen here, but. Uh, you know, you could just run one point in willpower if you if you don't want to, uh, you know, fully unlock it. But it is worth fully unlocking if you have the extra uh, cores that you can uh, uh, invest into it. All right, so that's pretty much it for for uh, the defense part of it that I want to talk about. Uh, in far, as far as the proficiencies go, um, most of these just require regular stony masteries, except for scouter lens. And Scatter Lens is amazing for Alliance Wars. Uh, highly recommended for Alliance Wars. I don't think everybody needs it. I can't remember what tiers have hidden enemies, but uh, yeah, Scatter Lens is, is amazing for something like that. You could check out uh, the Class Advantage, uh, Muta Matt's website. He's got some uh, he's got some tools available that will uh, boost the effectiveness of, of Scouter Lens with uh, crunching some numbers and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, it, you know, it even even just to show you the uh, the ranks of the champions, even if you're not going to be using a tool like that um, to try to figure out exactly what champion it is, uh, sometimes that's all you need. And, yeah, I, love, I, I really uh, enjoy having uh, one point in Scouter Lens uh, pretty much at all times. I have zero points in here now, just, again, temporary build. Um, but okay, so that's pretty much it for you know what I recommend spending these uh, these these mastery cores on. Now, as far as what I'm personally going to be doing, well, I recently just made this spreadsheet, and uh, really it was just to go over my uh, my three year progression. Uh, <laughs> it's the only reason I made this video, just kind of see how many units I needed to unlock all the masteries. And these three masteries, they were pretty much going to be last on my list, unlocking the final point in suture and then Pittance and Prosperity, which are the Gold Masteries. Uh, and I, w I really wanted to get some of these Class Masteries fully unlocked, but with this sale going on right now, I mean, how good would it feel just to be able to uh, just kind of knock all three of those out uh, and only be left with the Class Mastery course? So I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, take care of that right now, pretty much. So let's go back in game. I'm going to reset this tree over here. just want to double check, make sure uh, I have the uh, the cost correct. Uh, we'll, we'll go with Suture first, since the Carbonatum Core is at a bigger discount. Uh, and this mastery I could maybe at some point see myself getting. Alright, so 
yeah, don't don't have that carbonatium. Let's go on ahead and, and pick that up right now. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Not at their full price. Get out of here, man. Featured items. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So this is the last carbonatium core that I really need to uh, to unlock these uh, to unlock any mastery in the entire game uh, at at any rank. Uh, so all right, there we go. Now I could say I've got suture fully unlocked. Um, I, I did kind of think about not getting these masteries and just hoping for another event to come around like uh, Rocket's Workshop if anyone was around when that event was around. Uh, we, you know, there was uh, basically it was a special event and some of the things that you can get through that event were Carbonadium and Stony Mastery cores and they were a great value at the time. But we can't really count on something like that. So, Alright, these also require, like I said, the Stony Mastery so let's go ahead and hop back over to the store the discounted rate at least. Uh, I'm just going to pick up four of these. I'm pretty sure that's what I need. So 300 units. I was also hesitating on uh, or, or kind of debating on whether or not I want to do this right now because uh, there's a gifting event coming up and you know I, I want to make sure I have enough units uh, to get all the milestones in the gifting event. Hopefully I'll still have enough units for that but uh, you know it's such a good such a good deal going on right now that I, I, I just wanted to knock these things out. Uh... <laughs> Alright, these master I'm never going to use these masteries. This is a bad example of what to do with your units, but uh, you know what? I just wanted to have them all unlocked, just kind of to say that I've got them all unlocked. Uh, Alright, so there we go. And the worst mastery build of all time right now, but uh, they're all unlocked. Uh, Alright, so yeah, that's really it for this video. Uh, let me know what masteries you decided to pick up if you're going with this deal. Uh, if you don't have the units, don't worry about it. You know you can get these masteries in the future. It's not uh, uh, it's not that big a deal. I, I kind of wish I uh, didn't have some of these other masteries unlocked because it's such a good deal. But yeah, I'm sure a lot of people feel that way who maybe just picked up suicide masteries or something like that, and uh, you know could have saved themselves a ton of units. But you know that's that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, but that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.